Now in this uh, session, we can look at how to import image into Revit. Now the easiest way to import image into Revit is just by dragging it from your uh, file folder. Now I have these uh, title block uh, set up in this project file, and I have these images inside my project folder. Let's say for example, if I want to import this image into my title block, I just need to highlight this image and then just hold down the left mouse button and drag it into the view and click. Now you can see the image is quite big, um, so I need to scale it down. Now you can see the grips on the four corner, you can pick on any of these grip and scale it down or up if you like. I can just pick these uh, grips and scale it down to the size that I want. Very simple. Now, when you drag it in, the image is actually linked in your model file. It's not imported inside your model file. It's a link. So when you modify the image, it will be updated. And if we can look at uh, manage link images, see in here. So when we click on manage link and click on the image uh, tab here, you can see this image is linked into the model. Now if I highlight this image file and select remove, OK, and then select OK, and the image is uh, removed from my model. Now if you need to change the aspect ratio of your image, you can just click on the image and then from the property, and you can see that there's a log proportion toggle which is turned on by default. If you change that, uh, turn the toggle off, you can go in here and change the value independently, the horizontal vertical value, or you can pick on the grip and you can just drag it to a different proportion to change it a little bit wider or taller. Uh, but bear in mind that when you change the proportion, the look of the image may change uh, accordingly. So bear in mind uh, what the effect will be to, uh, to the image when you distort the proportion of the image. Now, if you want to get back to the same proportion as before, it's very simple. All you need to do is just highlight one of the values and then uh, click Control C to copy that value into your clipboard and then highlight the other value, the horizontal value in this case, and Control V to paste it and then select Apply and then it will go back to its original proportion and you can alternatively uh, turn on the log proportion that will maintain the aspect ratio of your image. So when you click on a grip, it will maintain that proportion. Now, when you're working with a multiple image, you may find that uh, you will be overlapping the images uh, on top of each other. Say for example, if I want to put this image over here, you can see that it's overlapping the perspective or photograph of this image. Now, if I want this to go behind this image, I can click on this image and then go to send to the back or send backward and then it will go behind this image. Or likewise, I can click on this and say, send this one to the back and it'll go behind. Now I can overlap a bunch of image like this. I can say, okay, this is, I want this to bring this forward. So I can click on this, uh, bring forward. It'll go on top of this one. If you want to bring this one to the front, click on this, bring to the front. Now if you want this image to cover all the other ones, so you can click in here, bring to the front. It'll cover everything else. So you can play around with these kind of uh, adjustment to see how you want to arrange the overlapping of different images. Now, in addition to importing image into Revit file, you can also bring in PDF into your Revit models. And it's very simple. What you can do is go to the insert tab and select link PDF. 
and then you can navigate to the folder where you have the PDF. Now let me see if I can go to my project folder. And I can just pick on one of these PDF files which I created uh, previously. Select open. I can just pick and you can select the resolution. I probably want to have the highest resolution, 600 dpi. And then select OK. And just pick a point to place your PDF. Now once you place a PDF, you can also use the grip to adjust the proportion and the size of your PDF that you import into your model. So it's very convenient and very simple. So I hope you like this session of the Revit channel and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.